Qualcomm came out with uh, some really interesting uh, AI announcements at the uh, Mobile Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. You know, uh, uh, Qualcomm, like uh, Intel and others, you know, their their goal is to uh, be able to run AI at scale just about everywhere, including the edge. And uh, Qualcomm's announcements put AI right on the edge for devices like uh, PCs and cars and phones and IoT and Wi-Fi and everything else. So one of the really interesting uh, announcements they made uh, is the uh, Qualcomm AI Hub um, framework for uh, for developers. Um, it uh, makes uh, development of uh, Qualcomm products a lot easier. It's got over 90 uh, AI models in it. Oh, wow. uh, you know, you can you can build whatever you need: image generation, uh, text, uh, object detection, uh, res high resolution image classification, all kinds of things you can do with it. Uh, but it, you know, it's strictly for the uh, developers. And uh, what was interesting is it seems pretty easy to use. I mean, you pick a model that you want to use, uh, pick a target a Qualcomm target platform. Uh, do all your testing and validation and write a few lines of code and, you know, away you go. You're all set. Um, uh, it handles uh, any framework and any runtime, uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, uh, Onyx, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, uh, the first month, uh, they said that uh, they've got over, had over a thousand developers signed up and over 8,000 models run. So, you know, that's a uh, pretty, pretty large acceptance. So uh, I think, I think the hub is really going to be a, I mean, I, I think I could actually go in and build a model on the hub. So. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Paul, quick question for you. When you say on device, is that, is that handhelds only, or is that, you know, the PCAI stuff too is, or. Yeah. It, uh, one of the announcements was the, um, they have uh, the world's first. Uh, it's a, not a not a large language model, but a a, a large multimodal model. Yeah. It will run on an Android phone. Uh, it's a seven billion parameter uh, model, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, can run um, basically in a conversational mode. You can load in an, an image, and uh, you know, like maybe a, a horse or a saddle, and say, you know. Uh, tell me, you know, what are the components of that saddle, mm -hmm. and it'll come back and, and give you a list of, uh, of what's in there in, in a conversational mode. So, text, yeah. images, voice. So um, it's got uh, it's also got contextual memory uh, for complex interactions. I mean, you can't you can't have uh, you know two sentences and then forget about what you're talking about. It wouldn't be very effective that way. And the uh, they're also running that on uh, that uh, LML on a uh, on Windows PC, so you know that can do some really interesting stuff. So they're they're a fun company to watch. Yeah, they really are. I mean, they're innovating in so many different different areas. You know, when I think of on device AI, I mean, I remember and Matt, you know, you and I for a few years we were getting to China, spending time with that company Huawei at their their annual summit, and they were talking about their Kirin chipset yep. that that was AI infused or embedded, and it could do things like sense when a user was, you know, for example, more you know email centric or browser centric, and and sort of adjust the performance. I mean, I guess the difference here is that you've got these large language models, and you've got generative AI, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the good thing is that I mean, uh, Android users be able to interact with you know, virtual assistance, uh, or financial services, healthcare, you know, whatever. So I think it's yeah. going to give AI a completely new uh, dimension in terms of gaming. I mean, uh, can you imagine playing I mean, a gaming agent on your Android phone? I mean, it's going to make, it, make games a lot, lot more interesting and a, a bigger challenge. And I think, I think, the, uh, I think this is going to, uh, what, what what Qualcomm is introduced, I think it's going to it's going to influence what what happens uh, with the uh, commercialization of AI at scale on at the end. So I think it's going to 